Hi, welcome back to Shannon's Plants Planting Time. How are you today? I hope you're well. Today, we are going to talk about the care of Calathea, specifically a certain type of Calathea. But I just wanted to go on over some general history of Calathea. They come from the jungles of South America or they live in the shade beneath the dense vegetation of the jungle. So you can imagine it is a tropical plant and it is often grown for its colorful, colorful foliage. It is a genus of over 300 species and in today's modern world, we would hardly recognize the Calathea in their natural habitat, habitat where their large, tough leaves are used for practical purposes like wrapping fish to take to the market, uh, making the villagers who, lives there, who live there their roofs to their homes, or making um, containers to take rice to the market to actually sell to tourists and locals alike. Today we are going to specifically talk about the Calathea lancifolia, which is also known as the rattlesnake Calathea. So this is my personal rattlesnake Calathea. It was a gift to me by my fiance. And um, yeah, he came home, he thought it looked really cool, and he did not realize how fussy of a plant it was. This needs a little water, so it looks a little, little wilted. So I'll water it right after this video. Um, I got my first Calathea as a beginner plant parent and it was a Calathea medallion and I will show it to you now. Yes, sad little two leaf plant because I got it before I realized the importance of humidity and the importance of no chemicals in the water. So he lost all of his leaves got down to just a stub and I did not throw him out and now he is growing back. So when I got the rattlesnake Galathea I was much more well informed of the care requirements and needs. So anyway like I said it can be a little tricky and I wouldn't recommend it for beginners and like I said, my Calathea medallion is a complete example of what can go wrong with a lot of things. But um, I'm going to talk about, sorry, fungus gnat. Um, I'm not going to talk about fungus gnats. One's trying to attack me. Anyway, um, they are part of the prayer plant families and they close their leaves up at night. And I made a video about a trio star and the science behind that. So I will link that and you can watch that video if you're interested in the theory behind why they close their leaves at night. Um, it is important to keep them out of direct sunlight. They uh, thrive in medium to low light and I actually have mine over here in this corner and it is about four feet below a small grow light and it has plants um, between that grow light and the Calathea corner so that it does not get any direct light, I would say it gets 
a diffuse indirect bright light you know really diffuse so as far as I'm sorry if you hear that barking it's my dog as far as temperature goes they can tolerate anywhere between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit they do not tolerate cooler temperatures well at all as a matter of fact they don't even like to be bought in the winter from just going from the nursery to the car and the car to the house can damage them, their leaves and they don't like cool drafts either so keep that in mind um, as far as water goes you want to keep the soil moist but not soggy uh, that's very important they're used to an even consistency of moisture and if you don't maintain that that can lead to crisp edges which is what happened on my clay fan medallion it just kind of crisped until it was no longer a plant so anyway um, soil requirements. They like more water retentive properties in their soil such as a high peat based soil mixture and that's what I have mine in is um, instead of using my normal soil mix I use a sub out peat based for the potting soil that I mix in my own with my other amendments I substitute that peat base so that it retains that water a little bit better humidity they are high humidity loving plants um, I read when I first bought my first calathea I read you could put them on a pebble tray you could put them in the bathroom I did all that I did not have a humidifier at the time and well you saw what happened to the Calathea medallion so I would not suggest having one without a humidifier but I know there are species that do a little bit better with a little less humidity than others but I found that growing next to the humidifier really um, creates an environment where they do well um, and all talking about water leads me to one thing about calatheas. They do not, and I mean do not, do well with tap water. The chlorine and other chemicals in it, absolutely they do not tolerate. Um, Rainwater is best, but I use filtered tap water um, with my Brita filter. Another thing you can try to do is if you don't have anything else but tap water, you can uh, leave the tap water in a container open at night and let the chlorine um, go into the air. My words are leaving me right now. Um, but anyway, and supposedly that helps, but I've never had good luck with tap water and that means even in your, your humidifier do not use tap water because it lands on the leaves and calathea do absorb water through their leaves and um, not good just not a good situation um, but yeah so the calathea lancifolia actually produce uh, bright yellow orange blooms in the spring and summer I have yet to have this little guy bloom for me but I have yet to go through a spring and summer with him so maybe he will maybe he won't um, I think he's just beautiful with the foliage anyway and when he folds up at night you see those nice undertones of that maroon color I just a beautiful plant but definitely uh, I think you just have to kind of get your first one and get your feet wet and try out these care tips and see if you can you know do a, a good job with them um, but 
they are a little tricky for beginners but I'm not discouraging anybody from trying so if you want a Clathia by all means go out and buy Clathia uh, try these tips see if it works and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that it helps you out with your Clathia care and I hope to see you in the next houseplant video have a good day bye